Welcome to Psychic Holistic Spotlight. I'm your host, Josie Way, and co-hosting with me tonight is Bill Hannon and Darlene Filosa. I always used to say your name wrong, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you got it down perfectly. <laughs> um, we are privileged to have as our guest that you've got a little glimpse of before, who uh, is an Ascended Master Channel. This is Deandra Isabel Hart. And we found out uh, how you got started with this and where you, you went along on your path. But now that everybody's talking about Ascension, the next question is, where do we go from here? What happens when we're ascended? What will we be like? Uh, while there's a lot of people resisting ascension, it's happening. It is happening. Yeah, that's a good question. You know, one thing to even mention initially, I think is important, is what is ascension? Yes. Because I think there's still people that think a whole group of us are going to get together, 144,000 are going to be zapped up in a ship, yeah. and the world's going to explode, and we're the good ones, you know, like, eh, and everyone else, right? Well, no. <laughs> no, and things have changed. There are old teachings that have come from the 70s, and mm -hmm. that people some, you know, still listen to those things, but we have changed our consciousness so much that it's mm. not about anything separated <clears throat> like that and nothing mm. to be afraid of, yeah. you know, that's intimidating and no one's better than the other guy. It's not like you have to do all the right stuff so that you get to go home too. Right. So right. all that stuff should be just put aside all the judgment. Yeah. But the word ascension means rising up over. So it gives you that sense of, of, of rising up over, but in the fact is, the truth is, it's coming inside. It's up over the illusion, up over, out of the box, mm -hmm. the constrictions that we've lived in for how many thousands of lives, mm -hmm. and coming home to self. And it's all energetic. And it's all coming, and it's all inside of us. There are worlds within worlds. And it's all here, and it's all now. Mm -hmm. It's not someplace in the future. If you go home tonight and have this revelation, epiphany, you just, and you get it, you're, you can come home, just like the Ascended Masters have realized it. They're not coming into physical bodies anymore. So there's no time restraint. There is no time anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, the time-space continuum is collapsing, as we all know. They're rushing to try to speed <coughs> up. Mm -hmm. The thing is to be slower. <clears throat> it's a lot of change going on. <laughs> everything everything is, is changing. But to come home to self, and we have, I wanted to mention too, we have what you might say a new chakra that is is so important mm -hmm. for us to work with now, which is in the solar plexus, right here, where if you breathe into your gut, like in a yoga, that's where it is. It's just below the heart, just below that cleave in the breastbone is here, and it's going to be enlarging all the time. And this is our place to focus on, to breathe in. This is where our energies will be coming in and where our energies and frequencies will be going out as well. Mm -hmm. This is our, our sacred space, our center, our go-to place. And within it is, is eternity. Mm -hmm. And it's to come into this place. And then your world begins to change around you from going inside. It's, it's going to be amazing. It's not yeah. the do thing, the make thing happen that we're used to. It's about allowing, receiving, going inside. It's, it's, the, it's the soul chakra. Yeah, it is. It's where your soul, exactly, where your soul is. Exactly, Josie. It's where your soul is, <coughs> right in here. And uh, it's an amazing space. And when the ego starts doing the yamma yamma, wanting to be logical and realistic, and this is airy fairy, and you've got to go out and make things happen, and this physical body is the only thing that's real, and the only thing that's real is what I see with physical eyes or hear with my physical ears. There's so much more, as mm. you all know. But it's when you get that confused or stressed or in fear, you come down, remember, to come down to this space and breathe in. And it's where people mention that, hearing that still, small voice. And we all do it in our own way. But to find that center and to feel your soul and to feel your own God self and to connect with that. You know? And religions over, over time, you know, hundreds, thousands of years have not wanted us to realize that we could 
We had a divine spark right mm -hmm. in us. Mm -hmm. oh. Our I am presence well. is right here because that way they don't make money and you have to go to them to find God. Right. So it's all changing. Not everyone likes to change. There, there was an old story and there was, where can we put the soul that they won't take advantage of it and, you, and, and, and become masters and, and go wild with their power. Mm -hmm. And we don't know where to hide it. And then they said, aha, we'll hide it within. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's taken us this long to figure it out. <laughs> it's always been there. It's always been there. You're right, it is within. So now, now is the time of remembering. You know, meditation, getting quiet is so important. And it's, and now what it appears is the whole world is going the opposite on computers, devices, phones. I'm not very savvy on all that stuff. Right. It's taking everyone, not that they don't have a place, but right. it's going over where it's, people are all being pulled outside themselves and right. living their lives on right. the phone. Right. And we need to exchange energy and we need to be going in. We need to be out in nature now right. more than ever to commune with, <coughs> with, with the rocks, the minerals, the plants, and to start to learn to, to talk to them and the right. animals. Right. And then we're gonna see more and more of self, like um, looking in the eyes of the animals, just like Bonnie was mentioning on the other show, you know, seeing the eye of God in the dolphins. And it's in all of us, it's in everything. And, just and to connect. Same thing, just the, the same, looking at people and really connecting yes, with yes. people just by really gazing into your eyes as Absolutely. you're talking to them. Yes, soul to soul. Yeah. When, and the thing is that, you know, uh, one thing I'm curious about is um, my belief. Uh, a lot of this technology stuff right now that's out there is kind of getting people aware that we have unlimited possibilities. Mm -hmm. And I think at some point in time, we're going to actually be able to step away from the technology connection yeah. and go within and have the same type of knowing yes, that you have it. through your electronic devices. Absolutely. And it's there. Yes. Yeah. Now, how would you invite somebody in to help you go from one awareness to the other awareness? In other words, how would you safely... <laughs> I, I don't know about risking your life by taking their phone away from them. No, no, no. I meant as far as yeah, uh, leaving yourself open and then maybe uh, an entity step in. As a, I mean, there, are, there is still fear. Yeah. You know, but how do, how do you, what would you say to help somebody uh, be comfortable and ask for some some guidance, some inner voice, some something that, that you... you need to, to pull them away from the technology to get to them... Not to pull them away. Uh, how, how, do you, how do you make your connection? How, how do you actually, when you sit down and you go within, how do you establish that communication? Oh, well, a little, I think I know what you're, a little, a little, I always start every session, a little deep breathing and just, just getting centered down here. Mm -hmm. It only takes a moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. But you have to get rid of all the superfluous stuff going on, right. you know, and, you, and right. the frequencies and the things coming in are just, it's pulling people away. You right. just have to put down the other stuff. Getting out in nature is always the best thing, mm -hmm. but getting quiet, start with breathing and start going right into this center, this sacred space, mm -hmm. this soul center, and you call it that, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And you start getting in touch with self. Well, and the more you do it, and it may not, someone may not have any kind of physical, you know, right. sensation, right. but the more you get comfortable with it, right. it can put, it pulls you, and you right. start getting comfortable communing. And this takes a practice, it takes discipline. Sure. And, you know, putting the devices down. Sure. That want to pull you because everyone wants to get more knowledge, more stuff. That's head stuff. Yeah. We want wisdom. Right. Wisdom comes of the heart, yeah. of the knowingness. And more and more, we're going to be seeing, feeling, seeing slash feeling. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? And hearing slash feeling. Mm -hmm. It'll be more and more feeling using our, our senses, not beyond the physical eyes. And mm -hmm. even if you just look at something with a soft vision and sort of without a focus, almost close your eyes, if you really focus and start working with it, you can start to see entities around you and see things that are oh, always yeah, there. Right. We're That's surrounded. Right. Yes, I know. I We're agree so with surrounded. you. We're so surrounded. Yeah. Yep. Yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you, um, in what you do, um, I know you said you work out of um, down on the Cape. 
Yeah. And so do you teach what you've learned? Is that what you're, you know, and how do you, how do you pass that on to what you do? Well, interesting because I'm being guided to, um, to start to teach this, <clears throat> you know, either classes or, or on TV, because people are going to need to know this um, because mm -hmm. life's going to be very different. So I'm, I'm not sure if I answered your question, but yes, classes, um, probably I'll channel them, or either way, speaking. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting the ideas. I'm just coming back after nine years of caring for my mom, and yeah. she passed, and so now I'm just, just telling Josie, I'm just yeah. starting to um, reawaken. Right. reawaken. I used yeah. to do Get TV feet and things. Under you. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Right. and it's exciting, but I'm getting, I'm getting the pull, and it's a strong one because mm -hmm. it's time, you know, not to mm -hmm. keep wallowing in the old. But we need to know this stuff, and you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Everyone will have their own experience because we're all unique. Mm -hmm. and, and for a lot of what we're going through and will go through, there aren't words in our language to describe so much of it. It'll be no, our experience true. that you can try to describe, but in our, our current verbiage, there isn't because we haven't experienced it yet. There aren't, there aren't the words, you know, there haven't yeah. been. But it's gonna be about, but there are pictures, and I, I will explain that. Mm -hmm. You know the expression, namaste, my higher self sees your higher self? Mm -hmm. When I find myself detaching and not connecting with the way things are, I look at all the people around me, and everyone I look at, I say, there's another expression of God, there's another expression of the divine. The mm -hmm. pictures and looking at the animals and saying, there's another expression of the divine, mm. the, the master within us, mm. that we, we have forgotten we are masters. Yeah, we absolutely have, you know. And it's another part of, of you, of us. It's all one, all one energy. But we're gonna be living more and more, not by doing. Um, Saint Germain always says, the age of doing is dying. We're so used to doing, which is more male energy, which is outward, <coughs> to make things happen, right. to make a living, to create outside of self, right. rather than using our minds. And the feminine uh, part of creation is imagination. Imagining is the feminine part. So we're needing to develop more of that. Mm -hmm. Start using, and it, because everything is energy, start focusing our words and our thoughts <coughs> are so important and to watch them even more so now because we're creating things very quickly. Right. Very yes, quickly. Yes, and we've always heard that, be careful what you say. And yeah, you create your own reality now more right. than ever. And because we are magicians and it's all magic and it's not the kind of magic that we're used to, um, you know, pulling rabbits out of hats. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a trickery, that's kind of an old thing. Not to judge it, but it's not. It's magic with a K and it's the magic of co-creation with God or spirit, whatever you right, would call right. it. Sure. And it's using energy and it's all about love and it's what we knew before we came into the human experience. And working with the elementals and nature. And you can't wish ill on anybody. No. Because it comes back to you. Faster than ever and magnified. Yeah, it's, it's magnified many, you know. many, many, many times. Everything yeah. is. But, but the flip side is all the good things are magnified too. Yeah. Every time you're kind or loving or send out love, that comes back. Then the issue of receivership comes up. I and mean, we've got Will all the things. It? Can we receive it? And as you were saying before, resistance to the energies coming in. And so much of the dis-ease, and I use the word dis-ease yeah, on the planet right. now, is because of resistance. Sure. And the energies flowing into us now, uh, are, it's love. And even when you know it, and I certainly know it mentally, but you still resist, and it's causing for a lot of people a lot of stomach, mm -hmm. intestinal things, disorders, and, um, stiff, and it blocks stiff, stiffening joints, yes, and, and other know, worse diseases for people. Really, really, really. and yes. respiratory. Yeah, yeah. Of course, your lungs. Fear grief, of fear. Breathing. Yes. Fear of of self. Fear of sadness and fear of feeling these feelings. Um, you know, it's so. Yeah, <laughs> it's so, a lot. We're going through a lot. So you mentioned, we were talking about technology. So do you yes. find that you um, put your phone down or computer? I don't for, have one. That's mm -hmm. awesome, hey. commendable. Yes, it is. It makes you kind of a strange person, but I don't have a phone. I, I tried to get one. I didn't really want one, but right. I was given one and I couldn't even, I couldn't, I tried it. I, I, the, the energy, I'm very sensitive to energy. Mm -hmm. I, it just mm -hmm. repelled right. me. 
it just repelled me. Mm -hmm. And I've tried it a couple of times, and I have a, a little flip phone for emergencies. Yeah. Like today, it didn't work very well because I got lost driving over here. But um, I have one. Um, but uh, uh, it, it's going to be a challenge for a lot of people because they've gotten used to living their lives mm -hmm. on these things. Yeah. And again, as I said before, it's pulling people away from going within. That's the scary part, and there's social disorders and all kinds of things coming from that, um, you know, lack of connection. Yeah. We, change, well, we exchange energy with each other, and we I, need to have that. We require it. I, I work with angels, and they told me if there's one problem we have, just one, the most important one, is poor communication. Mm -hmm. Nobody listens to anybody. Mm. You know, yeah, everybody's, right. Right. everybody's in their ego trying to be spoken, to be heard, mm -hmm. and nobody listens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, of listening. course, the wires are all crossed. Well, all up in their mind trying to get more knowledge, yeah. more stuff faster. Oh, Google this. Not that I'm saying that's not a good idea mm -hmm. to get, you know, we don't have encyclopedias anymore like we do when I was young. Right. It's not about that, but people want, they want, they want head stuff, wisdom, I mean, uh, knowledge. Knowledge. And it's keeping them from the center mm -hmm. and coming down into the heart, into the soul center mm -hmm. and feeling things. Because as you said before, if you feel and you go into that space, you're going to know we're going to have that. We have the ability. Anything we're creating in the technology, we can do. Mm -hmm. But it, it requires not being dependent, right. and um, and using our and developing our skills, telepathy, all the things we knew in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems. Well, what I find is with technology is that what ends up happening is people get angrier more often than they are happy because mm -hmm. there's so much going on out there mm -hmm. in the world that we see or know and then you know if this person doesn't like this person or whatever the case may be there's always so much negativity and anger right. instead of enlightenment love right. caring seeing you know the the love within each other as opposed to seeing yes. the anger within. well there's more there's so much anger on the planet now anger and fear and what's going people are, don't know what's happening and it's all this junk is rising to the surface to be released but what it's doing is it's affecting the weather a lot there is climate change mm -hmm. but so much of what's going on like just in the last couple of years these crazy weather events with mm -hmm. outrageous winds and horrible fires mm -hmm. that are happening mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. floods in california and australia and things. it's the it's the elementals reacting to our anger and our fear mm -hmm. That's why it's escalated so much. Mm -hmm. In a way, it makes sense because we're all connected and it's energy, and it rea they're reacting and creating these weather events. So the the more we can get calm, go within, mm -hmm. get centered, be loving, kind, starting with ourselves, we're going right. to turn it around. We can change it. Right, mm -hmm. right. So that's what I was saying before. Like uh, when I was asking you, how do you how do you invite somebody in? Like you say, the elementals would be. Uh, I mean, that's a great way to be able to put yourself in a position near a waterfall or something like that yes. and, and ask yeah. for their understanding, their inspiration, their mm -hmm. wisdom. Their joy. When yes. you say waterfall, I, yeah. I hear giggling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. babbling it's the, the whatever Andines. I mean. The Undines. The yeah. Undines or the water? I'm not sure yeah. which the one's water. the water. The Undines. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the sylphs are the wind or the, the fire elements. Mm -hmm. Get confused with them. Mm -hmm. but yeah, you know, it's wonderful. And we have that yep. connection, and that's that's connected in with the magic, creating. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll be able to work with them and, and change the weather. Uh, but it always has to be for the highest and best and good, right. not destructive. Right. Yeah. Because as you were saying, karma, things are coming back right away now, mm -hmm. magnified many times. So yeah. We have to be cognizant. We have to be very discerning and very right. focused and more aware. So some of us which, which have a little... Fear. I, probably a lot. I know. <laughs> so, these are the people I'm. I'm trying to help with. How do you safely just like? How do you invite Saint Germain? I mean, I used to watch Elizabeth Clare Prophet all the time and oh, Eckhart yeah. Carr and all this. And you know, that I feel has a, a lot of validity, but. Um, that's a lot of it I think was surface right now there's so much that's coming through that's manifesting mm -hmm. how does the average person invite somebody like that in and well uh, yeah are you first of all have an intention 
and ask. Yeah. Say you'd like to do right. this. Ask, right. ask, ask, and you shall receive. That's right. right? That's right. We yes. need to ask more too, right. because there's so much available to us, so much good, so much uh, abundance, so much of of everything mm -hmm. available energetically, right. but we don't see it with the physical eyes. Right. We're not. We weren't oh, meant no. to struggle, and so ask, right. um, and then be guided. Right. And you never know. Someone else, someone may come up and say something to you, or might just right. a book may fall open. Oh yeah. But getting oh. quiet and just um, right. putting on some peaceful music or out in nature and ask. I would love to communicate with. If you have a specific entity, right. or just I'm open and, and right. surround yourself in violet flame, and mm -hmm. you know, you're safe. Some mm -hmm. people are afraid of, but it's, if if you're not afraid, there's nothing to be afraid of. No, I've never that's, been afraid that's of why channeled. I'm that's what. Just be in love right. and be open in that soul center right. in your heart and allow. Right, right. And then see what happens and be focused. Yep. And trusting, and you know, one good way to start too is journaling, or automatic writing, was it called? Mm -hmm. You can start by writing too. Yeah, right. That's a nice way, and that's a pretty easy way, um, a right. more comfortable way for a lot of people to sit and wait and just put the pen down, and it can just start flowing. Right. And it's a very good way. The the other thing, this is old style, old fashioned. Plan on longer showers and baths, and just allow the water to flow. It tends to open you up and mm -hmm. relax you to better receive. Mm -hmm. just Negative the, ions. Yeah. And it's cleansing. Right. Yeah. It, it just, it, I've had many messages in the shower. Right. You know, where, and I realized I could use that to yeah. my own advantage. Sure. Just mm -hmm. to, you know, bring in good energy. Mm -hmm. yep. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it cleanses. It's yes. a cleansing process. Yeah. There's a lot of things mm. that we can do, but we can ask if you're not right. sure. Ask. So you're, you sounds to me like your motivation right now is leaning towards uh, helping people who are looking for guidance through classes or something mm -hmm. along this yeah, line. I do personal sessions, one-on-one -on -one with people. Right. They're pretty powerful. Right. You know, it's fun. You know. But never to be intimidated by the master. Some people think they're greater and these beings that are, right. you know, and right. they're not. They're our friends and they're funny and they joke and I know exactly they mess up what sometimes. You're it's amazing. We're all the same. Yeah. Saint, Saint Francis, when I've seen him, is a shy fellow. <laughs> yeah. You know, but he's best spoken to in nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Connect with the nature. Yeah. The nature world. Mm -hmm. And for us, again, to be more connected that way ourselves, mm -hmm. more time like that, and just allowing our feelings, allowing our tears, allowing mm -hmm. our hearts to open. Right. It's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength to have the courage. We have to allow so many things that we've repressed lifetime after lifetime to come up for healing. Sure. And sometimes what we're doing, we don't even understand. Sometimes mm -hmm. we're bringing it up for our from our lineage healing oh, yeah. generations yeah. before Genetic us. Memory. I know I've it's been doing a lot. I think for my mother, sure. I go near our old house, it's just so many tears come up in sadness. Yeah. Right. And she was very sad. And sometimes I don't I don't understand, so I'll just hug myself and let that little girl cry and mm -hmm. know and trust and allow and then feel better afterwards and mm -hmm. then more comes up. But it is a process we have to allow the stuff to come. So it's it's cleaning up, it's cleansing. And the tears are mm -hmm. purifying. Mm -hmm. So it's important, mm -hmm. you know. And sometimes people think you're a little crazy, or um, you know, you're not on your computer all day. You're out, in, you know, out in nature. What's wrong with you? Well, mm. it takes courage to sometimes so step away. So, how would somebody get in touch with you? What's the best way for them to make a connection? <clears throat> oh, it's nice. Well, I have an email address. I don't know that they've shown my name on the screen today. They I probably can spell have. it out. Yeah. They, you, the character generator puts it up there. We don't yeah. see it on this screen. Ah. Uh. There I am. <laughs> There's my name. Um, I can give you my email address, sure. and I will start checking it more now. I know I say I don't do it often, I'm, I'm I don't, the but same way. that's the best way because I have a landline. I, yeah. I don't have a smartphone, yeah. and so I, um, I will give I my both. email address. It's it's my name with my middle initial, so I'll spell it. It's D I A N D R A for Diandra, initial I for Isabel, and then Heart H E A R T at Gmail. G okay. for goddess. Dot yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love to hear from anybody yeah. with questions. Anything. Yeah, right, right, right. Well, now that you put that out there, hopefully you'll get people making the connection with you because uh, you. just seeing you and talking with you has uh, been uh, heart opening. 
Thank you. Yeah. That's very kind. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's 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 time. It's the time we um, we started out talking about what happens after ascension. I don't know. We've if we've even <laughs> we answered some of it, but mm -hmm. it, um, it will be a different way of life where it is again more allowing and faith. Before we get off, because we're almost out of time, faith. Because I, I have so much I could share about this. Faith right. and trust. Mm -hmm. We will be living by faith. Right. And. You mentioned letting go of control. Mm. Well, <laughs> mm -hmm. that's no control. Right. That's how the masters live. You trust and you step and you have light that just shines out of your solar plexus, your, your seat of your soul, and, and goes before you. And to be in joyous anticipation, joy that we've talked about, mm -hmm. creates a magnetic field that draws good right. to you. Right. Right. And right. anticipation of the very best of what does spirit have for me today? Like a little kid before Christmas. Mm -hmm. And you step out not knowing. Right. Talk about scary. Right. Like don't worry. It doesn't mean we're, we won't exchange things or you still may do jobs, hopefully things that you enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to be doing things that we hate mm -hmm. just to get some money. That's right. the way we've lived. That's right. And, and we weren't meant to live that way. No. We share, no. we'll, we'll share with each other, we'll be interdependent. The whole world will be very different. Right. But it's trusting and it's having faith, trusting that what you desire and require to live a God good life will be provided, but right. you can't control it. Right. So this right. is going to be, well, I hate to put that out there, you know, can be very challenging for humanity who is so geared towards making it happen. Mm -hmm and knowing ahead of time because we're scared. Mm -hmm. And then it's to remember that God loves all of us so much without condition, the conditions we've put on ourselves, we've judged ourselves right. and because of stuff we did in the ask, illusion. Just Let ask for the help. Yes. You have to ask. And if you don't ask, even though our guys, angels can see, we need something. If we don't ask, it's not going to come. That's right. It doesn't matter even every day. You start the day by saying, when I need something today, I ask you now. Give me a hand. <laughs> Be open to receive. That's yeah. the other thing. Because yeah. we ask sometimes, and then yeah. we don't allow ourselves to receive right. it. And right. then it goes into your deservedness issues. And, yeah. and sometimes <laughs> something isn't meant to, to be right. because it doesn't serve the highest good for everyone. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. And... You know, those are the harder ones because you feel like you're entitled to some some things, sure. and you're not because it's someone else's turn. And then that's the trust, trusting mm -hmm. that if it doesn't come, it may, might be the timing too. It might yeah. be later on, or it's not the highest. And it's trust. Yeah, yeah. trust. The um, this is a little off base, but. Every time I go to get my hair done, I read this little magazine and stuff. I said there are so many people that are celebrities. But now, so many people can have acting jobs and do the stuff they like, because there's so many channels and so, so much that mm -hmm. opportunities that the people have. Mm -hmm. And all of these challenges are opportunities mm -hmm. that if we let go of one thing, they they say that God doesn't close one door without another one opening. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's it's hard when you're in the corridor <laughs> waiting. Mm -hmm. There's the trust and the yes. faith. Yes, yes. Trust and faith. Yeah. So yeah. we got our work cut out. Right. <laughs> Right. I like to say work. That always has a bad energy around um, it, but no, we're, work is not a, it's a lot of change. Is, that's right. We're almost out of time. Uh, I want to say thank you to the audience mm -hmm. that in, out there in TV land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you to my guest. <laughs> and thank, thank you. you to my co-hosts. Mm -hmm. um, if there's one thing you would like people to know about the coming changes, what would you think would be the most important? Trust, have faith, allow, be open, love yourself, mm -hmm. love yourself, love yourself. <laughs> yeah. And know that you are loved. Yes, that, that sounds like what I would have said too. <laughs> Right. We were listening. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Because yep. I know the angels are saying that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And the angels and 
at the Ascent Ignis.